What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy CJ Grizz. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. That's at CJ Grizz underscore. You can follow me on social media anywhere. Just type in CJ Grizz. That's C J A Y G R I Z. You can check out my website CJGrizz.com if you want to know a little bit more about me. If you want to check out some merch that I got, I got some cool stickers. Uh, if you want to check out my beats, shout out to Create to Learn. That's Create to Learn. Check it out on Instagram. Uh, also check out the hashtag create to learn shout out to Nuijanan real quick Nuijanan fam yeah yeah I've been doing a lot of cool stuff with Nuijanan for the past couple years I got my start with Nuijanan and I started working with Nuijanan my boys Nomad Violent Ground 91 Base what's up um uh, shout out to Chip Award that's where I got my coat you can get your gear at chipaward.com. Yeah, let's get into it. If you don't know who I am, my name is CJ Grizz. I'm a rapper producer. I've been doing this for like 10 years, but I also started doing stuff with Norwegian Ann, like I said. For the past couple of years, I've been doing workshops, teaching in the classrooms. I've been uh, passing on my skills. Been linking up with artists, you know, doing a lot of cool things on my own, independently. And uh, just like just like how I've learned, I've learned independently. I've learned... Uh, I've self-invested, got my speakers, my MIDI keyboard, I got my two mics going, I got Logic Pro going, and you too, you can get all this going, you know, you just gotta do a little bit of learning, you don't need much, you don't need much at all, and you can do this all at home, in the comfort of your own home. I know right now people want to be learning, so you know, I got that learning, I got you, I got the hookups. Uh, I got you some uh, chord stuff. You don't really know some music theory. You don't really know how to play piano, play guitar. Don't worry, I got you. I got some cool drum kits, some cool samples. I'm all gonna have links up on them. Let's get into it. Let's get into Logic Pro. All right, Logic Pro. About to make some bangers. About to show you guys how to make some beats step by step. Also going to show you guys the ins and outs of Logic Pro. Let's do this. So when you open up Logic Pro, this is one of the first windows you get. This is your uh, template window. You got your demo projects, project templates. You can make your own templates. But for now, we're going to open up empty project template. Just so you guys know how to start from scratch. Uh, these are two things that you're probably going to be working with the most. Software instrument and audio instrument. These other ones you don't really need to worry about you'll learn them as you go along but uh yeah audio you know if we're like recording audio like through a microphone or putting a guitar in uh stuff like that in that nature but a uh, software instrument is more like vst stuff that's already inside logic pro so we're gonna be choosing software instrument make sure it's on empty channel strip so we just press create and uh, there's a lot of stuff here. This is, uh, if you're familiar to Logic Pro, or if you're just, you'll know it, but uh, if, you, if you're not, then this area is the, the playlist, is where you're gonna be creating, you know, like your canvas, your timeline is here, so all your patterns, all your regions will be going here, your sound files, all that will be going here. This will be filled with tracks. Here's your transport controls, you know, basics, you know what all this is, stop play, pause, record. Uh, up here is uh, your LCD. You got uh, your tempo, your timing, your time signature, your media info. A lot of cool information, a lot of important information. Alright, so if you want to load in some instruments, remember we uh, loaded a software instruments track, so that means it's ready for some VSTs to be loaded. Uh, let's load up uh, an audio track just to see what they look side by side or one above each other. This is the audio track. This is the software instrument track. Uh, with the software instrument track, we want to load in some sounds. Press Y on your keyboard. This is uh, Logic's library of Logic's own sounds. It's all uh, categorized, piano, guitar, all that. You just if you downloaded uh, all of Logic's additional sounds, all of these will be there. Uh, here's another way you can load in some uh, some sounds. These are Logic's VSTs, and when you load these up, they they also have their own uh, libraries inside them. Uh, if you have your own VSTs, they will appear here. 
can see these are all the VSTs that we've gotten over the years. Uh, right here, this is your uh, inspector view. This is uh, where your instrument track can be edited and the sounds can be edited. You can add some media effects, you can add some audio effects, you can change the VST if you want. Uh, there's some your pan knob for left and right where you want to hear the signal, your volume for the instrument, your mute if you want to solo it or mute it. This is your main bus right here for the stereo. This is where all of your instruments will be routed. So if we open up X, this is your mixer. This is the same information as the inspector, but just in a mixer view. So the more tracks you have, the more uh, instrument tracks, the more channels you'll have on your mixer right here. All right, we're going to close our mixer by pressing X. Close the inspector by pressing I. Close the library by pressing Y. Uh, if you press P, open up our piano roll. But if you're on an audio track, you can press E to open up the editor. So the piano roll is where all your MIDI notes can be edited. You can draw in MIDI notes if you press uh, Command. It turns into a pencil. Uh, if you press C on your keyboard, turn on the looper. You see how it's already looped at four bars. And when you put in MIDI data, it automatically makes what's called a region or a pattern and this is where your MIDI notes will be. You can loop this, you can edit it, chop it up. Uh, let's take these out of here. Uh, if you turn your click on, you can press K and you see how our BPM set at 120. Let's listen to that. Four, one, two, three, four. And if you don't know your timing, uh, you can, if you don't know what BPM is, uh, here's a good example. 60 BPM is the timing of a clock. And we had it at 120, which is double the time of a clock. Now, if you want to co compose some, uh, like some smooth R&B jazz, you know, you want to bring it around like 60 to 90. And if you want to make some hip hop, like some good hip hop, some like some normal paced hip hop, probably just bring it up around like 100, 120. Then around 120 to 130, then it starts getting like dancey, so like a dance tempo. Then like trap would be around 140. It just like gives you more room to edit. And you know you got your hard style around really way up there. It can get really crazy. Uh, Another way to record MIDI data is uh, if you have a MIDI keyboard. Uh, let's select an instrument here, a piano. So we have a piano loaded in. We press R on the keyboard. We can record it, we can edit it. There's so many things we can do with it. So I don't know if you noticed the one, two, three, four up there. That's the counting function. So if you want to have a little bit of space before you restart recording, uh, you could just press that, and uh, you'll have a one, two, three, four counting before recording MIDI or uh, or a vocal. It's a good function. All right. So I showed you a little bit of the ins and outs of Logic Pro, where everything is. Familiarize yourself with the uh, a little bit of the controls. Uh, we're going to keep going as we uh, go through more of the videos. Next video, we're going to actually start making beats, so uh, keep watching. All right.